So you think you're having a bad day? <laughs> we just were in a car crash. We're okay. We're tired out so much. Um, I have had this car for seven years. I absolutely love it. It's uh, pretty uh, devastating that we have to get rid of it. Time yeah. to go car shopping. <laughs> My least favorite thing on the face of the earth to do. Guys, I'm Deb. I'm Joel. And this is Maya. And we're chasing our sunshine. Uh, we were in a car crash on Friday afternoon. So you think you're having a bad day? <laughs> we just were in a car crash. We're okay. The car not so much. Luckily, the place we're having a towed to is right there, through that intersection. So, wish us luck. And our tow vehicle is probably completely totaled, uh, but uh, it's 45 minutes away from us right now. Okay. We're back at our campsite, and we are okay. Uh, cars can be fixed, people can't, and we're glad that we weren't hurt and neither was the other driver. And the other driver actually didn't have too much damage to his vehicle. And the other good thing is Maya was not with us, so she's just not going to be worried about traveling in the future. Yeah, and the fact that we are home back in Wisconsin, we're able to use Joel's uh, parent's second car uh, for now until we get a rental vehicle. And otherwise, now we just got to wait and see what the insurance company's going to do. I do have to say we have progressive insurance. And they called us right away yesterday afternoon, got the story, got us a rental car for next Tuesday, and I already lined up the uh, inspection, so pretty impressed with them so far. Well, it's time to get a new car. Yeah. Well, at least the pick up the rental car. Um, we'd have to say Progressive Insurance has been amazing. Uh, they had so set up a uh, car rental within probably four hours of us notifying them that there was a car crash. So we're here on a Tuesday afternoon to pick up a rental car. You can return my parents' car. Yep. All right, let's go. Let's see, see what, what we, we get. get. We got a Jeep. We are sitting in our Jeep rental, that is. <laughs> we are not getting the Jeep. No, we're not. Uh, but we did get notified that our car is totaled. So we are at the collision center getting all of our property out of it. Yeah, not fun. No. Uh, but uh, got to get the plates, the tire pressure monitoring system off, and some of the personal property that we left in the car. It's a sad day. I don't want to lose this car. Kind of like a treasure hunt though, because now we really find out what's all in there. Yeah, see if we remember <laughs> <laughs> stuff we find or whatever that we didn't even know we had. Under passport. At least Deb was smart enough to bring a big bag to put everything in. <laughs> Did he just say I'm smart? Aww, I got it on recording. Smart enough. Uh -oh. There's the loot. Not too bad for, but 10 years. <laughs> Not quite there. No. Got everything removed. Um, I have had this car for seven years. I absolutely love it. It's uh, pretty uh, devastating that we have to get rid of it. Not something that we wanted or planned on, uh, but with life 
things happen that are out of your control. Uh, the accident was not our fault, but uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and look for a new tow vehicle. So let's go. Time to go car shopping. <laughs> My least favorite thing on the face of the earth to do. Well, it's been uh, about two hours so far of uh, shopping for cars. We struck out on the, uh, replacing our Ford Edge with a Ford Edge so far. Some on, saw some online, but we showed up at the dealers and there weren't any. No. So, that made me drive a Jeep. Yeah, we did test drive a Jeep. So now we're just gonna wait for the insurance company to call back and tell us what our payment out is going to be so we have a better idea. We'll go into the negotiations when it's time to purchase the car and we got a game plan. Joel is gonna be bag cop and I'm gonna be worst cop. She's good at that. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we'll keep you updated. I, I thought you said bad cop, bad cop. What do you got there, babe? We check for our new to us vehicle. Thanks to the crash we were in, we need to replace our car. So just cut a bank check to pay them and uh, take off with our new car. Yay, for us. Yeah. Not something we want to <laughs> be doing. However, things happen in life. Uh, this little hiccup, thank you. Hopefully we weren't out in the middle of nowhere. Good, how about you? Doing well, it's a new car today? It is. Uh, yeah, got the check right here for it. Check right here, yeah. All right. Where are you buying it from? All right, we got a new car! <laughs> well, it's time to pick up the vehicle that should be mostly done with our uh, new tow package. Yes. Possibly all the way done, but if not, we're still going to be able to use it this weekend to get down to the Dells. It just may not have the battery charger done, uh, but everything else will be good to go. And uh, hopefully we'll be on a trip with it next week. Yes, the final step. But yeah. we're not sure because it's still on the hoist in the garage and we're supposed to pick it up at 3.30 and they close at 3.30. It's now 3.23. So, we'll see. All right, let's go find out. guys we got our new car there it is it is a 2018 ford edge sel yes and it had some a little bit of upgrade we only lost one thing that we really do miss but it did come with a tow package which we didn't have before and what did it not come with that we're missing the air conditioned seats that's a big one yeah you think we're a little spoiled <laughs> with our old car the air conditioned seats are something we never even heard of until we had gotten that and for those of you that don't remember we had a 2015 ford edge uh, this one does have the heated seats which we hope we never have to use again and it has a heated steering wheel that we also hope we don't have to use. Our old car did have about 83,000 miles on it. And this one came with 56,000, so we gained a lot of usage there. Yeah, and obviously it's an 18 compared to a 15, so we came out ahead, we believe, with yep. a, a newer vehicle. And the weirdest thing is, you get in it, and except for looking at the main dash, you can't even tell we're in a different car. And it kind of matches the rig. It does. We're absolutely loving it. We um, have been driving it around. It actually has a better ride. Our other car did because that was a sport model and this is an SEL and the tires are different. Yeah, these don't have the performance tires uh, like the other ones, so this has a better ride. You can do all the research you want online, but the number one location you want to go to see if your vehicle can be flat towed is definitely the owner's manual. We had the 2015 Sport Edge and we thought that was the only model of the Ford that could be towed until we went to the owner's manual. What a savior. We just want to give you all a quick tip while dealing with insurance companies. Which uh, is never fun. No, it's not. We recommend going in with patience 
And no, everything is gonna take a little bit longer than what you would like. And remember, the insurance company, no matter which one it is, is gonna try to lowball you. They are. So that's a very important thing. Make sure you do your own research. Don't rely upon the agent that you're actually talking to and know the laws of your state. Our state was South Dakota and we had to look some things up and actually educate the actual rep that we were dealing with on what taxes could and could not be covered um, by our claim. Yeah, we were originally told that uh, in South Dakota they don't allow you to be reimbursed for sales tax when you buy your new vehicle. Uh, but I did a little research and sent the guy a letter and within about 10 minutes he called me back and said, whoops, I was wrong, we'll give you the money. But overall, it took us about a month to settle everything with the insurance company. We did have some out-of-pocket expenses as insurance that we had only covered total loss of our old car and not a replacement of something newer. Yeah, so our vehicle that we got rid of was, again, three years old. Uh, older than the new one so there was a little bit of difference there in price and the other thing is is they did not cover the replacement of our base plate for our tow package that is right um which was kind of um something unique obviously as us as our beers that we had that tow package installed on our other car and now on this one which will continue to update you on the saga with the tow system <laughs> in future videos but um, that was not covered as they said it was an addition to the car not the original part of the car so it was not covered but we're all set now right. we just want to remind everyone that when bad things happen it's all about your attitude and the way that you handle things and make some sunshine but if you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified when our new video is out and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video or a thumbs down if you don't. Yeah, put a comment down below to let us know what you think of our new car. Are you disappointed we didn't get a Jeep? Uh, we're not, we well, really did love our Ford Edge and it's so easy to tow. Um, we really like that about it. And we're all set up to move. All right, this is where we're gonna leave you on this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. We're coming along on our journey to be chasing our sunshine. Remember, life is about moments and not things, and you can always create your own sunshine and find us chasing it in our RV.